for all this fantastic museum. We are excited to take everyone to discover true Kupay. चलो is this a right to access or the outcome for all four characters understanding and doing life purpose and peace the key components are to bring peace to society and the world this information is only an appetizer there is much more to discover to bondura tumra dekhte pachho century of truth museum অপূর্ব সুন্দর দেখতে তোমরা সামনে না আসলে বুঝতে পারবে না যে কতটাই সৌন্দর্য আর এই মিউজিয়ামটা সম্পূর্ণটাই কাঠের মানে যা যা আছে সম্পূর্ণ এ টু জেড কাঠের এবং এখনও কাজ চলছে এই মিউজিয়ামের উনিশশো সালে এটি স্টার্ট হয়েছিল কাজ করা এখনও পর্যন্ত কাজ চলছে তো দুর্দান্ত জিনিস তোম ভিতরে যাই তোমাদেরকে দেখাচ্ছি আর এখানে একজন আমাদেরকে গাইড দিবে গাইডই আমাদেরকে সব বুঝিয়ে দিবে তোমরাও দেখতে থাকো তাহলে বুঝতে থাকবে তো দেখতে পাচ্ছ বন্ধুরা ভিতরে ঢোকার আগে সবাইকে একটা হেলমেট পরিয়ে দেওয়া হলো তো বন্ধুরা দেখতে পাচ্ছ মিউজিয়ামে ঢুকার আগে আমাদেরকে একটা গাইড দিয়ে দিল ইনি পুরো মিউজিয়ামের ব্যাপারে আমাদেরকে বোঝাবে তো তোমরাও তার কথাগুলো শোনো তাহলে বুঝতে পারবে Ancient tile workers called Persaya, 
which is passed on from generation to generation. So later you can come back here, you can pass them sorry you know how they function. You can also come back to the carving department area and you're allowed to do the carving as well. Okay, so for now, let me give you a minute first to take photo, and after that, we will proceed in our service. A minute to take photo, everyone. <laughs> chemical that we use to control termites and insects. So the structure of the museum was designed as Chatura Mok, four holes built by four directions. It is inspired by an ancient royal palace called Fetinang Songset Mahaprasat. That's why if you look at it, it looks like a palace. But everyone, I want to remind you that this is not a temple. I repeat, this is not a temple. This is a contemporary art. All the artworks here are inspired by many traditional cultures such as Indian, Chinese, Thai, Cambodian, and so on. Okay. So our museum has three main parts. There is the responsive from lowest to highest. As you can see, one, two, three, four, and five. The body which is composed of walls, windows, vents, and floors. And the base, which is divided into three layers. The first one... Everyone still okay? Yes, okay. Are you all still good? <laughs> Alright. So everyone, this is the Singhabenchon Balcony. It is inspired by a royal balcony. It is used to grant a public gardens in a special location. And as you can see, it is decorated with Buddha Nakata jar, which inside has a bunch of flowers and leaves. And that represents wealth, happiness, peace, beauty and creativity. So later on, you can come back here to take photo, but one of your friends must sacrifice to go down here again just to take photo. <laughs> I will show you first this one. So this is our lift. It is the only mechanical that we use in this museum. It is only used to lift physical handicapped people, pregnant women, or some elders who cannot go up to the stairs. So moving on over there, as you can see, that is the four faces of Brahma which represents the four golden states of mind. And that is the loving kindness, compassion, sympathetic joy, and equanimity. Below the four faces of Brahma is the Indra riding Erevan, which is the three added elephants. And that represents the three characteristics of good leadership. And that is to avoid thinking, saying, and doing negative things to the other people. Okay, so now we're about to go up on the museum. The I want to explain you, uh, to you first the decoration of it. So as you can see, it is decorated with sea animals, swimming against the waves, moving away from the museum. So now let's compare ourselves to the sea animals, who swim against the social trends to find the street of life inside the museum. So now we're about to go up and find the seventh route of life inside the museum. Everyone's ready? Yes. <laughs> ready. Ready. Come inside. Please come inside, everyone. Museum, mere a place today. Mani hai stair kichu onso shooting kora hoy chilo. Tomra dekhle hoy to jara jara dekhe chhu mani hai dekhle hi buste varba. Okay, Okay, if you're tired already, you can take a seat first. Our life cycle starts from the day that we were born up to the day of our death. And from that day on, we always rely on nature. Of course, without nature, 
we cannot survive. If you look around in this hall, you will see a lot of lady and man sculpture. Just like this one over here. So the lady and man sculpture symbolizes our parents, who gives us life, took care of us, and taught us how to become a good person. And that's the beginning of human life. The structure over here symbolizes the Mother Earth, which provides us the food, accommodation, or shelter that we need. And behind is the Mother Sun to the sun that gives us burn light, and the moon that gives us fair and high tide. So all of the structures behind symbolizes the days of the week. Sun is Sunday, moon is Monday, Mars is Tuesday, Mercury is Wednesday. Jupiter and Thursday, Venus is Friday and Saturday is Saturday. They believe that the day you were born indicates your unique personality. So later on, we can come back here and take a look at the calendar over there. Okay, everyone feel good. Feel okay? Sorry for the interaction a while ago. Just like there's also always a lot of people that stare at you. All right, moving on. This is the secret of life. So this ethics the concept: we are born to die, and no one of us could escape that. Not even the Buddha himself could not escape to death. But what he left into this world is his philosophy of life to follow. If you look inside the throne, you will see that it has no decoration. Where the outside is fully decorated. Do you have an idea why it has no decoration inside? An idea? None? Well, it simply reflects to the emptiness of our life. We came here with nothing. And when we die, we take nothing with us as well. Just like the Buddha. However, what we could love into this world is we either create goodness or badness. Okay, so now let me take you to the fourth root of life that will show us a great example of people who left good things into this world. Okay, let's Move sacrifice on. all his life to improve the quality of life of Thai people. To improve the living and condition of his people, he initiates thousands of development projects. He also gave directions to relieve sorrow and maintain happiness, such as education, transportation, development in communication, and public health. Lastly, he supported all the religions for over 70 years and so those people there in King Roman 9 are the great example of people who left good things into this world. And their life purpose is to do goodness. So every one of us here has different life purpose, and no one can tell you what's yours. Some of us doesn't know yet what is our life purpose. But we hope that the fifth truth of life will help you to determine and define what is your life purpose somehow. Okay, let's start over here. So can you guess what is this man doing? Anyone? What do you think he is doing? Anyone? He is lifting someone, something. No, how about the others? Mommy, sir? What do you eat? Moving on over here, everyone. Surround yourself with people who empower you to become better. Just like these people here, this is a happy and nice society. You know, if you surround yourself with people who motivate you to do good things, of course, it will lead you to happiness. Okay, so now that you have seen the life purpose in fifth root of life, let me show you the sixth root of life. That will show us two opposite sides of the society, the good and the bad. Okay, let's see the other Donation. Okay, so the outer column will show us the bad society, and the inner column will show us the good society. So let's start over here. So this, uh, here you can see, this is a society full of selfishness. Here you can see a wealthy man having too much food, but doesn't give any to those who are starving here. Mm. And here a man who fell off to the ground because he carried heavy stuff. And these people here just laugh at him instead of helping him. Well, on the other side, is a society full of generosity. Here you can see people helping each other to farm and a group of people helping each other to move the cars from the hole. Again, they are helping it by there. Everyone feel good? Yes. Feel okay? Yes. Okay, one more column. This is everyone. Over 
right here. So the next one, this is a society full of arrogance. So what do you think this man is doing here? Giving a time massage? Kicking. Kicking. Alright, so he's giving a time massage. But yes, this is strong man here, abusing or hurting the weak man. And what was here is if you turn around, you will see that he is giving a bad example to his child. This is a disordered society. Well, on the other side, over here, this is a society full of politeness and humility. Two special group of people, staying with respect to each other, using the Thai traditional way called why. Everyone feel good? Still okay? Okay, let me take you to the last part of six trip of life. Moving on over here, বন্ধুরা তোমাদের মিউজিয়াম কেমন লাগলো একটু জানিও মিউজিয়াম আমাদের দেখা কমপ্লিট হয়েছে আর মিউজিয়ামটা খুবই ভালো লাগলো আমার তো তোমাদের কেমন লাগলো কমেন্ট বক্সে জানিও আর ভালো লাগলে অবশ্যই সাবস্ক্রাইব করিও এবার এখন আমরা এসেছি বুদ্ধ টেম্পেলে এই দেখো বুদ্ধ টেম্পেল তো আমরা বিগ বুদ্ধা বুদ্ধ টেম্পেল সেখানেই যাব তো সেটাই দেখাচ্ছি তোমাদের চলো
বন্ধুরা আমরা এখন বুদ্ধ টেম্পেলে আছি তো তোমাদেরকে বুদ্ধ টেম্পেল দেখালাম আর মিউজিয়াম দেখালাম দুটো এই ব্লকে থাকলো আজকে আমাদের পাটায়ার থার্ড ডে তো কালকে আমাদের লাস্ট ডে পাটায়ার তো আজকের ব্লগটা তোমাদের কেমন লাগলো তো জানিও এবং লাইক সাবস্ক্রাইব এবং যারা ফেসবুকে দেখছো তারা ফলো অবশ্যই করিও সাবস্ক্রাইব অবশ্যই করিও আর ভিডিওগুলো ভালো লাগলে অবশ্যই লাইক শেয়ার কমেন্ট অবশ্যই করিও ওকে আজকের জন্য ব্লগটা এখানেই শেষ করছি নেক্সট ব্লগে আবার তোমাদের সাথে দেখা হবে ঠিক আছে গুড নাইট